Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys. Mid-January here in Central Texas. So even though the weather out is really nice, it is the one time of year that I have allergies, what's called cedar fever. And every year it gets bad enough, I need to start taking the medication several times a day, and I walk around the house like a zombie. So I'm very curious to see what the My Pure Mist can do to help me out. Epic Review if you live in the U.S. and own a television set, you must have seen the My Pure Mist TV ads many, many times, as have I. I finally decided to break down and give this a try, see if it'll help out with my allergies. Also have two kids in school who this time of year come home with colds and sniffles, so they'll get a chance to try it out as well. This kit goes for $149. They advertise you can find it locally at Target and Walgreens. I ordered this one online and it actually came with some additional accessories that are supposed to make it easier to use. Same price though, $149. I'll put a link to that package right down below this video. In the package I ordered, they included these um, scent pads. These are eucalyptus and peppermint to help clear out the sinuses, I guess. This accessory, which is the hands-free accessory, and I've heard this is a good one to have, so you don't have to hold it up to your face. You can use this, and I guess it straps it onto your head. And it looks like there are also a couple extra masks. Now my favorite place to be when I've got a cold and I'm all stuffed up or the allergies are really bothering me is not in bed, it's in the shower. A hot shower, all that steamy warm air after a few minutes seems to clear things out. Suddenly you can breathe again, it's so nice, but after your shower, when you step out a few minutes later, all the problems come back. So I think the idea is that that water that can go deep into your lungs, up into your sinuses, will give you that same sort of I'm in the shower effect. The first thing I see in the box here is answers my first question was, can you use regular water for this? I don't think you're supposed to. This is distilled water. I read on the box that one ounce is supposed to give you 25 minutes of that um, humidification. So this ought to last a few hours and I guess I'll go out and buy a big bottle of distilled water. Also in here, I guess this is to transport it. Here's a mask. So yes, what they gave me in the kit are additional masks. I don't know if they wear out or if they're for different people in your family to want to use it at the same time. The device itself, the cord, the transformer, the other cord that plugs into the wall. So you are going to be tethered to this. I don't see a fill line here where you pour the water in. So I'll just fill it up to where it doesn't spill over. You can leave water in between uses, but if you're not going to use it for a few days, then you should um, drain it out pour it out. Now an interesting thing with this is that you don't need to go and clean any of the internal components. When you're done with it and turn it off, a fan comes on that blows air through and dries everything out supposedly for 10 minutes so no bacteria will grow there. The cap has got a little seal inside. So let's see how spilly it is. Okay, didn't spill. Till it snaps in, okay. All right, the mask is pretty thin, but very flexible. It's got a metal piece on the top to fit the bridge of your nose. All right, I'm going to actually go outside for a little walk now. That, that does wonders for stirring up the allergies and I'll be back in a few minutes to give this a try. Actually pretty windy outside this afternoon. I may have a few leaves in my hair. I have a little of the allergy response going on. I can feel the stuffiness here, but it isn't to the point of sneezing or having the watery eyes. So let's see what this can do, if it can help me to breathe more easily. So power switch, hit this button at the bottom. Blue light comes on. I think that means it's warming up. Oh, it's already getting steamy. Wow, and it's already warm. So the bottom light must be the, okay, the 105. And all the way up is 115. Let's go with 100 and, let's go any lower? No, 105, okay. One size fits all. It's warm and very humid. Ah! 
Doesn't feel quite like shower. I can smell the plastic because it's being warmed up for the first time. Got to keep it pressed all around your face. Keep the steam in there. I think you can see it's gotten very humid and steamy. Other than the smell of this uh, plastic getting warm, there's no other smell. When I talk, it wants to come off my face. The key is don't talk when you're using it. It's definitely warm and humid in there. I don't think you can see any steam coming out, but I can feel it here and you can see the condensation on the plastic. I'm going to put the temperature up some. I, I thought 105 would be plenty warm, but I'd actually like it a little warmer. Let's go up a couple dots. Now this actually functions, as I understand it, as a vaporizer, which my brother could probably explain about a lot better than me, but it, it takes the liquid in a little tiny, tiny chamber and vaporizes it, and that's what comes out and what you inhale. Well, that's much hotter. Yeah, I can feel the temperature difference there. Feels like there's not quite as much steam. Though it's hotter, there's not as much of it. Like it uh, takes longer for it to produce it so it doesn't blow it out quite as fast. Well, it would be more relaxing if I didn't have to hold it up to my face. So I think I'm gonna try out that uh, attachment that it makes it hands-free. So I will turn this off with this button. Used it for what, maybe five minutes. The fan is still going, that will run for 10 minutes to dry it out, but what I want is to try this attachment. I wonder if it's okay to fall asleep with it on. I guess so. I will let it go for a few minutes and see what effect it's had. All right, I got bored after a minute. <laughs> I want to try these out. These, I thought they dropped down into the water, but no, they clamp on outside where the air gets um, pulled into this device, so. Press one reservoir blister firmly. Enjoy soothing aroma. So there are eight little packs on here and you pop one and use that. Okay. Now, press one reservoir blister firmly. Is that firm enough? I smell stuff. I guess it was. Just had to break the seal and that should get drawn up into the mask. Ooh, that's nice. That's very strong. Now it's a little too strong. Mm. There's no way to <coughs> go from full strength to no strength. It helped about, I had the, um, the, the mentholatum or eucal yeah, eucalyptus and peppermint pack going after about three minutes of breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth it helped to clear up the congestion. So that actually did help. I went and collected some of our alternative humidification, cold and allergy treatments. It's been a few minutes, you can hear this is still going. Can't unplug it? Well, you shouldn't unplug it because then the drying process won't complete and then it is subject to having something growing inside where you can't get in to clean it up. Here's an old favorite. It's the big Vix tub. You fill this up with water and um, this is the unit that actually creates the steam and you can put a spoonful of uh, mentholatum eucalyptus sort of stuff in here and then that warms up and it um, humidifies the room and gives it that nice smell and helps to clear out your sinuses. It uses that much water in about a night. So it only works if the room is closed and everything in the room gets kind of humid. So this is a nice alternative in that it only takes an ounce of water and you get almost half an hour of humidification right where you need it in your nose, mouth, and sinuses instead of having to fill up an entire room with the humidity. You'll have to decide in your case if the My Pure Mist is worth the expense. Again, if you're interested in the package with the extras that we got, I'll put a link to it down below this video. And I did check their website to see if you can use this lying down. They said you can use it lying at an angle, so in a recliner or with some pillows behind you in bed. And the day that you have two kids come home sick or three kids come home sick or four kids come home sick, you may wish you could just put them all in the same bedroom to sleep and break out this guy. Shopping is easy when 